Today we will go over the basic installation of a yield system using a Case 2388 as our combine. The first sensor installed is the yield sensor. On this particular model, the tensioning rod must first be modified so it does not interfere with the yield sensor location. This is not necessary for all makes and models of combines. This step shows the care taken when measuring for the yield sensor hole location. This location is given to you in the supplementary installation instructions and in the appendix provided. For this particular model, the location is just below the grain tank floor and 60 millimeters from the back edge of the elevator. If a location is not given, mount the sensor as high as possible and measure the distance to the center of the elevator paddles. This will be your mounting location. Pay attention to the paddle support brackets and use the installation booklet to make sure that modification plates are not needed. On this install, we have used the optional magnetic mount brackets. This is an additional cost, but makes the yield sensor installation much easier. Next is the installation for the moisture sensor. This location is on the clean out door and should be located at roughly a 45 degree angle or greater to keep it clean. The door can be removed and the hole can be cut somewhere more convenient. If the door has considerable wear and is extremely thin, it is recommended to replace this door. After the hole is cut and the mounting holes drilled, simply bolt the sensor on using the supplied carriage bolts and reinstall the door. Cable routing is a key part of the installation. Follow as many hydraulic hoses towards the front of the machine for these two sensors. All cables are routed to the junction box. The junction box location must be on the right hand side of the machine with the rubber wire seals pointed downward. The junction box is sealed and can either be mounted externally or in the cab. The key is that the orientation be correct because of the built-in angle sensor for slope compensation. The header switch installation is fairly straightforward. Mount the sensor under the cab so that when the head is down, the spring pulls the plunger out. The key to this installation is that the chain be pulled straight. If the chain is not pulled straight, you could warp the plunger, causing it to stick. Console mounting is typically just personal preference. On this machine, we installed the ram mount bracket base on the right hand post. This is the most common location, but any location in the cab will be satisfactory. In the cab you will also find 12 volt switched power. Make sure you have a good ground and route this cable to the junction box. This ends the basic installation of the Loop Electronics 8000i yield monitor. For more information or specific instructions please contact us so we may assist.